the shoulder lock. I control his head, foot on the hip, this leg comes up high, this leg goes over the shoulder, pinching my knees, making everything tight. Hand comes in here, don't hit the guy's nose, sorry about that. And then my hips are going that way and his wrist is going that way. If it's loose, he's just going to shimmy through and come out. Okay, so this is step one, okay. I'm controlling here, foot on the hip. He thinks I'm going for arm bar or calf roll, which we just did. This leg comes over the shoulder. I want to pinch my knees tight. So if I'm here tight, tries to move, we can't get it. This hand goes here. This hand goes to the wrist and going that way. He holds on to the arm. Yeah. So now what do I can do? I can start going here, go for arm bar. I don't get the arm bar. Then I can dump them over and finish them off from here. So they all kind of piece together. Yeah. All right. So. We either do break it down slow or we just go up like that and catch it, okay? So either one, two, three, or whoa, catch it. Shoulder lock, boom. He holds on, go for arm bar, boom. I don't get the arm bar, he rips the arm out. Hand goes on the elbow, get the space, foot on the hip, lifting up, go for the triangle. He puts his arm back that way, force it back. I'm going to go for the core, or he locks it up here, here, grab, take him over, stripping out, finish off with the more plot. So we've done the flow for now, but just work, what was the question, shoulder lock? Yeah. We'll just do <laughs> shoulder lock. Like six. Or right, six of them. If you remember the other ones, hit down, but shoulder lock. Yeah, that was close to what I